Welcome back Aggies, it's me Gage and we're here back with another Aggies Underground. It's been a minute, but I'm glad to be back with you. Today, we're gonna to be taking a tour of Maverick Stadium. Let's get into it. Since 1892, football has played an important component in Aggie life. A makeshift field on the quad served as the humble beginning until 1913 when games were played on Adams Field, west of Old Main. After the team saw considerable success in the 1920s, under legendary coach Lowell Dick Romney, a new stadium was built in 1927 where the Ark and Hyper buildings now stand. This stadium earned the name Romney Stadium in 1954 after its most successful head coach. Games were played there until 1967, when the field was relocated further north to the stadium's current home. In 2009, the actual football field was named after Aggie football legend Merlin Olsen. The stadium underwent further renovation in 2015, when it became known as Maverick Stadium. Now that we've taken a little bit of a look at the history, let's go inside. We've had a lot of successful student athletes here at Utah State. Three consensus All-Americans, Merlin Olsen and his brother Phil, and Savon Scarver. We've had nine Super Bowl champs, 12 Pro Bowlers, and 17 Aggies drafted in the NFL. The players change, the grass changes, even the logos have changed, and we've had some pretty sweet logos. But the fans and the traditions never change. Speaking of logos, let's head to the equipment room and meet Michael so we can start preparing for game day. Nice to meet you, I'm Gage. I'm Michael. Michael, what do you do here? Um, I'm the assistant equipment manager here at Utah State University. Today we're gonna learn how to build a helmet. Sweet, I'm excited. How much are these? Uh, I'm five to eight hundred dollars. What? <laughs> There's no way. Yeah. And how long is it taking us to fully put together a helmet? Anywhere from five to 10 minutes. What's our first step? Okay, so we're gonna put the face mask on. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do one side. Okay. And, and I'll show you. So I like to keep my palm on there. Put the little guy in. Press in on that dot. It'll hold right there. Mm -hmm. And then you just press, and you hear that little click, and it's in. All right, other side, here we go. All right, other side, okay, <laughs> so. Take this. Take the pin, push it in. Okay, there's the first one. Take this, take that. Press down, oh, oh. press a little bit harder. You aren't gonna go. break it. And then press more yep, again. press more. Bang. Sweet. After that, we go to the decal. Yes. Decal itself. <laughs> I don't know how good I'm gonna do this. That's okay. I think that looks okay. Great. Looks wonderful. Sweet. And that is a helmet. Is a helmet. So I'm like 5'8, five 5'9, five always kind of been smaller. They are like Greek gods. Here with Cadet Church. Cadet Church, tell us what we got going on here today. Who are you with? So I'm with the Army ROTC program here at Utah State. Um, we do the cannon right back here. You can see it in the background, uh, just for the football games and other events. Sweet. How long has the ROTC program been here on campus? So we've actually been on campus since 1916. Uh, that's when the program was started. We've been doing the cannon as well for over a decade. Sweet. Well, I think my only question I have left is, uh, will you let me shoot the cannon? You know, I think we can make that happen. Fire! Yeah! I got to fire the flames, I got to fire the cannon. Let's go see what else I can do. I'm here with McKay, who's a camera operator here at Maverick Stadium. McKay, tell us a little about what, what we got going on here. Uh, so this is the camera I shoot right behind me. Um, and my job is just to get all the action on the field and everything that the student section's doing. So it's a pretty fun time. So many questions. First, yeah. how long does it take to set this kind of thing up? Uh, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to set up. 
and is it just one person working on one no, camera? No, we usually have like two or three people help set it up, okay. and then one person will just man the camera from there on. And how much are we looking cost-wise per camera? If I was to take a guess, I'd say over $100,000. I'd think that lens probably over about 60000 alone. Yeah. Mind if I take a look? Yeah, let's go for it. So if you go ahead and zoom into something, you can see that focus will change pretty quickly. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. This is insane. This is the press area. It is really quiet up here. Hey Bobby, nice to meet you. I'm Katie. Thank you. Good to meet you. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, sweet. So what's the story with this room? Yeah, so this room right here is where kind of all the magic of Maverick Stadium happens. So we've got all of our video board coordination up here with Tyler. We're running some social media stuff here. Um, down low, Sophia kind of calls the game. So everything that happens besides actually football. So all the videos, all the music, all the on-field promotions, all that fun stuff that happens, okay. she's coordinating. So Sweet. she also serves as our DJ and then our PA announcers down here as well. Um, so anything that's really fan-facing, that fans are hearing, listening to, watching, all the fun stuff, that's what we're coordinating from up here. So I noticed back here we have some frosted glass. What's going on in this room? Yeah, that's the Mountain West replay booth. Um, so that's where they review all the plays. Um, so those are the officials in the booth. Um, they can watch every play over and over again. Of course, in venue, we can only show the play one time um, for fans to see, but for them, they review everything, uh, make sure we followed all the rules and, and everything's good. And that one replay rule is to protect the refs and make sure that nobody gets too upset? Yep, that's it. Makes sense. Correct. Alrighty, well, I think that's everything. We got some more stuff to see, so thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Have Take care. There are a lot of moving parts to the game day experience. Over 4,000 sodas, 1,300 hot dogs, and 500 pretzels are served each game. There's countless hours practiced by the band, the spirit squad, and everyone's favorite, Big Blue. And then there's you, the true-blooded Aggies, intimidating the opponents and cheering on our home team. So there you have it, Aggies. Thank you for joining me behind the scenes of what a game day looks like at Maverick Stadium. Be sure to come out and support the home team, and go Aggies.